gore this and the gore in this Got the money in this and the money in this and that Moved in at the S portal Now I'm golden to the old royale Free as a hell, golden is my own Free for the world, got me there we are They throw me into the world Anyway, let's move on. Today, someone appeared in the TV and it was fuzzy. <laughs> Back again, the stars were some kind of cool together. And I go down to the bottom of the TV, go down. Open my fridge. The bad influence of Monica. Of Monica. Of course. Other things can sometimes work with the Yakuza. Time to watch the Midnight Channel. It's raining today. Something's going to be on TV. Let's see what's in it. What's in the TV? What's on the TV? Kanji Tatsumi, huh? He definitely didn't look like the social type. Now there is an understatement. Isn't he really scary? Did you see the news special the other day? Yep, he did. He jumped by the thing. Yeah, I saw it. You mean the special on biker gangs? I watched it too. Yeah. It wasn't like that when he was younger, though. You know him, Yukiko? He could be. Uh huh. But we haven't talked to each other in a long time. Oh, okay. His family runs a textile shop, and we've been a customer of theirs for many years. Oh. So I speak with Kanjikun's mother from time to time. Oh, why don't we go there now? We might be able to talk to him in person. I don't know. I can't do that. Sounds good. At the very least, we can ask if anything strange has come up lately. I guess we can just throw you people in there. I wouldn't want to run into him in a dark alley, but I'm pretty sure he won't fly off the handle at his family's store. Yeah, yeah. Alright, then let's get going. If things get rough, we're counting on you guys. I have a very pretty 
voice. No, let's go. I mean, Hello. Hawaii. I forgot her name. The detective. Ah, Yuki-chan. It's so nice to see you. She still knows her. Well then, if you'll excuse me, ma'am. That's a woman. I'm sorry that I couldn't help more. It's all right. You've given me plenty to think about. Thank you. Hello. Bye. What's up with him, weirdo? Uh -huh. Never seen him before. Yuki-chan, you're as lovely as always. Beautiful. Your features are starting to remind me of your mother when she was young. How can I help you today? Are you out shopping with your friends? No, we just want information about Kanji Tatsumi. Oh, um, well, actually... Yeah. Yeah, well... Yosuke, what are you going to do? Hey, this scarf! I've seen this somewhere before! Oh, the... The shadow room. The TV room. Huh? Oh, you're right. Where was that? In the TV room. Oh, it was that place inside the TV! Yes, it was like a... Um, yeah, I don't know what it's called, but... You probably know what it's called. That's right! That room with those faceless posters. Yep. Then it's that announcer's. Are you acquaintances of Miss Yamino? Nope. Well, we know that's not. Uh, well, kinda. Um, did Miss Yamino happen to have a scarf like this? Yes. It was a special order she placed. Okay, so that was Yamino's scarf. She actually ordered a pair. But in the end, she said she only wanted the women's scarf. It left us with no choice but to sell this one separately. Oh man, there is a connection to the first case. What are we gonna do? It's almost over, but... How should I know? Is this a sick dead? Or... I don't know. I forgot. Hello? Delivery here for the Tatsumis. I'll be right there. I'm sorry. You'll have to excuse me. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. We should get going. I'll come again, ma'am. Is that so? Well, then please say hello to your mother for me. It really is connected to the first case after all. But it's just a scarf. Would the killer target someone just because of that? Damn it, what's going on? Come on, let's talk outside. Alright. This is getting personal. Needs to private. Hmm? Private it's Kanji-kun! Oh, shit. What? Quick, hide! You're not fooling anyone, you know. Shh, I can't hear what they're saying. You eavesdrop on Kanji's conversation with the boy. T Tomorrow's fine with me. That's a woman, by the way, but we can call him boy. Huh? Uh, S school? Of course I'm going to school. Then I'll meet you at the gates after school tomorrow. Did he, did he say he was interested? He's a guy. And I'm a guy, but... He's interested in me? Huh? Oh. What the hell are you pricks looking at? We should run. It scared the hell out of me! He's even worse in person than on TV! Well, because we were spying on him. The one on TV last night was definitely Kanji-kun. Yeah, but he was like a fire. He was 
Yeah. And I just realized something. Remember the common points we were talking about? His mom fits the pattern. She's a woman, and she knew Ms. Yamano. But it was her son who appeared on TV. So what does that mean? Yeah, that's what it seemed like based on the TV image. But his mother fits the pattern more than he does. Oh, maybe it's similar to my case. If you think about it, my mother fit the victim profile more than I did. She was the one who dealt directly with Miss Yamano, but I was the one who was targeted. Does that mean it'll be the kid again instead of the mother? But if that's true, then the killer's motive makes no sense at all. Killing. It'd have nothing to do with silencing witnesses or revenge or anything. You think we're on the wrong track? Maybe even the first case had nothing to do with grudges or revenge. Or is there some kind of secret in the textile shop itself? I'm totally lost. But we can't ignore this. Hmm. Why don't we just go ahead and ask Kanji himself? You could go to do that. We could at least see if anything odd's happened lately. He scares the wits out of me, but... Hey, wasn't Kanji making plans with that weird kid a moment ago? Something about meeting up at school? I heard he's been skipping school ever since the new year started. Doesn't that seem a little suspicious? Yeah, something did seem weird. It's suspicious, all right. There's something funny going on here. I can sense it. Sense? You sound like Teddy. Still, we might find some clues. All right, let's try staking out both Kanji and his family store. We definitely don't want the killer getting ahead of us. That being said, Yukiko, can I have your cell number? Hey, was this your plan all along? Uh, no, <laughs> I got everybody's phone number except for hers. And the Y section of my address book needs some filling out. <sighs> While we're on the subject, could you stop calling me at night just to tell dirty jokes? Oh my god. You can... Yo, scared. Get yourself together. You really sound like a pervert. I shouldn't say that. Hey, I'm trying to have a conversation with Yukiko here. No. Yosuke. Calm the fuck down. Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. I need to buy tofu on my way home. Oh, she didn't hear a word I said. <laughs> okay, then. The stakeout is set for tomorrow. Hmm. Stakeouts? Healing people? <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps. Arrived at school? No. Yes, ma'am. 
Visual ID confirmed. Target arrived in zone near the end of his mess break, with mother issued rations in hand. Current status, in the bathroom, fixing his hair. The target was acting nervous. I left my position before he had a chance to pick on me. I wonder what kind of plans they made. It didn't seem like he knew that boy very well. Well, I think there's something more subtle. Oh, he's here! I didn't keep you waiting, I hope. No, I, uh, I just got here too. What in the world was that? Anyways, we gotta hurry after them or we'll lose them. Okay, then let's split up into two groups. One team will follow Kanji and the other will stake out the shop. Roger that! How should we split the teams? I don't know. What if something happens and we're the only ones there? Oh man, they're almost out of sight! Come on, Yosuke! So I'm pairing up with Chie? Oh. Uh, okay. All right, we'll need to pretend we're on a date to make it look natural. Uh, not in a million years. There'll be no need for that if we stay out of sight. Sheesh, let's hurry up and go. I wonder if those two will be all right. Oh, um, that leaves us in charge of staking out the textile shop. Yeah. So, shall we? <laughs> I don't know where I was about to say, but yes. Indeed. So does. Sorry about the wait. This one's for you. Oh, thank you. you Everything seems fine at the shop. I hope it stays that way. Do you think the culprit will come? Don't know. Oh, I'm sure of it. I doubt it. No worries. I'll protect you. I'm sure of it. Then we need to keep our eyes open. It would be scary if the culprit did show up. But if they do, I'll do what I can to help you catch them. You all saved my life. I don't want to be the only one doing nothing. Well, you helped us defeat go shadow hunting. I mean, I'm sure there's something I can do. You helped us a bunch. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I went on and on without realizing. I, I guess I'm a little nervous. It's okay. I've never chatted with a boy my age like this before. First time first. Chie, of course, has no problem getting along with guys because of her personality. She's the crazy one. Not really the crazy one, but determined, motivated. But I think she's had more fun hanging out with you and Yosuke lately. We like the trio. <laughs> the same is true for me. Bless him. He says Yukiko's gratitude. Yen. Affection.
going to ask you to go for her contact information. Ask her straight away, straight out, say it for the investigation. Oh, you're right. We'll need to contact each other if anything happens. Never say it for the investigation. I'm not one way to her. You exchange cell numbers with Yukiko. There seems to be no change over at the shop. You spoke with Yukiko about many different things. Do we catch Kanji though? So where are they at? She, yeah. Man, this is weird. Yeah, we definitely stand out. Uh, how your position? No, I mean them. I get this weird feeling about them. They love each other. Weird? What about them's weird? Um, I don't know how to put it. They love each other. Maybe it's just my imagination. <laughs> just say they're gay. Hey, how do you think the others are doing? Even though that's a woman, a female, a girl. Okay, let me stop. Beats me. For all we know, he's hitting on Yukiko as we speak. Oh my god, Yosuke, shut the fuck up. Yeah, no. He's not like you. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Shie. You Narukami's not that chat type. He's not alpha male. Yukiko doesn't seem to be interested in that stuff anyway. Yes. <gasps> Wait! Are you saying he's interested in her? Obviously not. Huh? I, I, I wouldn't know. He acts like an ordinary, just some ordinary protag anime protagonist. Well, we don't really talk about that kind of stuff. <laughs> you wouldn't talk about Now it. I'm even more suspicious. You know something, don't you? You obviously don't. I, I seriously don't know. It's not like we've been hanging out that long. What the hell are you two doing? Oh, shit. Oh, well, you see, we're... We're just two crazy lovebirds. What do you mean, bird? Hey, Play along, bird brain. Yes. Didn't I see you guys yesterday? They're just strolling. <laughs> Come on. It just so happened that we were walking behind you guys. Pure coincidence. Hey, our houses are just over that way, so we'll be going now. Um, look, we weren't planning on getting in you guys' way, and there's nothing strange about it either. S strange? Why can't you keep your big mouth shut? Whoa, 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 wait! Damn it! Yep. This ain't what you think! You, you got it all wrong! Hey! Are you listening, damn it? You just need to It seriously ain't like that! I know. I know you gave me. I'm Persona 5 for Yahoo. We regret to inform that our mission failed. There was nowhere to hide. Yeah, because you, you just run in circles. Well, let's wait here a little longer. Maybe Kanji kun will come home. No, or I don't know. He's going yeah. to come there. Oh, shit. Huh? What are you guys doing here? You're those stupid lovebirds I just saw. We're not a couple! Why are you assholes following me around? Because we... We love your mother. Damn it, what the hell's going on? I ain't saying this is you guys' fault. Oh, yeah. But... Damn it! Hey, uh... Mind if we ask something? Has anything strange happened to you lately? Huh? Strange? What's this strange stuff, huh? Are you saying that I'm strange? No, no, no. We're just 
trying to say, are you good? Huh? No, 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 I, I didn't mean... Yeah. You shitheads better get the hell out of my face or I'm taking you down! Okay, okay. What? Wait, why? Relax, Kanji, relax. I look like I'm choking! Okay, Kanji, Kanji. Oh, he's it. You, Yosuke, you... God dang. You ran away from Kanji as fast as you... Her legs will kill you. Uh, oh, too much running. Well, nothing happened today, so I guess everything's okay. Yeah, but it's already been a few days since he appeared on the Midnight Channel. If this is anything like Yukiko's case, it'll happen soon. Then we can't let our guard down. I think we should come back tomorrow to check up on him. Looks like we got no choice. Right. Let's go home. I'm wiped. Yes, she needs some meat. Some steak. Chicken. Ramen. Oh! Welcome home, big bro! I'm okay, I'm so adorable. I'm still to rain. Rainy. I hope you don't get rain out there. I'm fine, you... Can't... The boys at school pretend to... In games when they were running around. Yes, don't be a part of that. No, don't rest. No, I want to watch the TV. Fine, I'll rest. Yes, one more minute. Hello? It's Yukiko. I'm sorry to call so late. Um, Kanji-kun seems to be missing. Oh, shit. I had some calls to make for the inn, so I called the textile shop as well. When I spoke to Kanji-kun's mother, she told me that he'd left the house and hasn't returned since. Oh my god. He... She did say that this happens all the time, but... What do you think? No. You should be fine, no. This sounds bad about what? Sounds bad. I think so too. He could be. The... It's the going to rain again tonight. Maybe the midnight channel will come on. Yep. Then we'll know for sure if something happened to Kanjikun or not. I'll make sure to check out the TV at midnight. Talk to you later. Me too. Watch it now. Yes, I do. introduce a superb sight for those searching for sublime love that surpasses the separation of the sexes. Urgh. I'm your host, Kanji Tatsumi, serving you this scandalously special sneak in report. Goodness gracious, just imagine the things that might happen to me there. Woo! Well then, let's get this show on the road. Toodaloo! Case, that 
place that was behind him? What do you think it is? A superb site for those searching for sublime love? I just don't get it. Anyways, we better hurry and come up with a plan tomorrow. Do we have school tomorrow? Or probably not. No, it's fine. <sighs> Given the pattern so far, Kanji's already inside the TV. Yeah. I wonder what the Midnight Channel really is. At first, I thought it was one of those paranormal things, but when I gave it a try, it was real. Turns out it's actually connected to another world. If there's a rumor going around, that means a bunch of people are watching it. How did the rumor go? If you stare into a turned-off TV on a rainy night... No one in their right mind would try something that ridiculous, don't you think? Unless someone urged them to. But if you actually try, it does work. And not just once. If this rumor spreads and everyone starts watching the Midnight Channel... It could cause a huge panic. If Teddy is right, the missing people themselves create the stuff we see. So it's not random. It's specifically related to whoever goes missing. Hmm. Yukiko had a show too, but she doesn't remember doing anything like that. Um, this might be a little off subject, but the culprit is probably watching the shows that come on, right? <laughs> no doubt. He's probably sitting back and enjoying... Oh, People. wait a sec! I bet he is enjoying it! He's probably laughing his head off watching the show that comes on after he throws people into the TV! Oh, I get it. Yeah, it's definitely possible. It's ridiculous. Ugh. Now when I think of the killer, I get this image of a total sicko. Yukiko was like the princess. I want to see everything about you, Yuki-chan. Oh, Yuki-chan. Wait. So if people saw Yukiko's show, do you think people were watching what happened to me too? Oh, that is it! That killer is dead meat! I'm gonna leave footprints all over his face! Guys! First we save Kanji, then we crush the killer! Okay, okay. Finally, we crush the killer and send him to hell! Holy... Got it? Okay, see ya. Teddy, someone's here, right? Oh, yep. I think someone's here. You think? Do you know where he is? Kanji. I don't know. Kanji, that's too much. We think it's a boy named Kanji. Yeah. I don't know. He doesn't know it's sick. What's wrong? Not feeling well? Well, I sniff and I sniff. But I still can't tell where the smell comes from. Because he don't know. 
Aren't you thinking too much about too many things? I mean, last time you were wondering about who you really are and how long you've been here. Your head's empty to begin with, dude. Don't stress out over stuff too much. You're right. Whoa, he's seriously down about this. If you can't figure out where Kanji is, we're in deep trouble. We can't just wander around aimlessly in a place like this. I know what might help. You should give me a clue about this Kanji person. He has blonde hair. It's just a feeling I have. I think I could concentrate better with it. He has a scar on his eyebrow. Do you have anything that could give me a good understanding of him? A skull sweater. Something about Kanji, huh? I can't really think of anything besides all the rumors about him. Long sleeve. Yeah, it's not like we know him that well. Yeah. I just need some sort of hint. Something that tells me what he's really like. We love Why don't we ask around and find people who know Kanji Kun personally? That he may be able to grasp Kanji's location if he gets more information about Kanji. But what kind of information does he need? We decided to ask him around town about Kanji. But if we can do that.
All right, we're all here. Is everyone here? Thursday. So today is Wednesday. Oh. Okay, let's go back home. Because today's. That's good Wednesday. Okay, that's why you need to be here. Because he said Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Wednesdays.
Pete's Bowl with me. Thursday, okay. It's the time. Oh, dude. Yo! Yo, you. What is this weather for? Do you have to worry about the fall? What's going on? I think it's cool. Like you, bro. They just think the day is still cute. It's still fun. Yeah, it's not going to be good enough. It's not good enough to get me. I'm just sure if you use the time to be mad.
Oh, give it to that party. Everything but you 